Guys, stamping letters is back in style, and this is my workshop here at BlenderMania3D.com where I stamp your letters that have your certificates in them to send them to you via mail. It's a little bit of a mess, but it works. Anyways, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to make this awesome stamp effect in Blender. You can see that the stamp conforms to the letter, and this is using dynamic paint. It's just a really cool feature. And we can use this for many different uses. Here, we're going to be stamping letters. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this with the envelope. But again, you could stamp some toilet paper if you want, if you watched yesterday's tutorial, or do whatever you want. In a new Blender scene, let's delete the default cube, add in a plane, and we're going to make an envelope. So scale it on the x-axis, and boom, we're done. Kidding. In edit mode, shift D to copy it and bring it slightly above on the z-axis so that you have a plane above. Deselect the top vertices, scale down the bottom vertices on the x-axis, and bring them up like so. Then hit Ctrl L, Shift D, copy it over, and bring it to the bottom so that you have something that looks like this. Select the top ones again and hit G, Z, and bring them up slightly. A to select everything, and E to extrude them down on the z-axis to give it thickness. Now add in a subdivision surface modifier, and oh my god, it looks terrible. So add in some loop cuts right there, there, and there, hitting Ctrl R. Do the same thing on the bottom and just add loop cuts. Now select one of each of these vertices, Control L, H to hide it, and add in some loop cuts on this side as well. And then Alt H to unhide that, right click, shade smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and add in a circle. So Shift A, add mesh circle. This is going to be the size of your stamp, so scale it up, bring it up above the envelope, and then bring it to the side. In edit mode, hit the F key to fill it, E to extrude it, and then we're going to hit Shift S, cursor to select it, add in a text, type in whatever you want. You could type in Google if you want, and this is going to be your stamp. Scale it down so it fits your stamp. Then in the properties for the text, go to Geometry and select Extrude and Extrude it out. So whatever mesh is extruded here will basically stamp on your envelope. You can make a unicorn if you want. Add in a circle and then in Edit Mode, we're going to hit E to extrude, right click and then S, Shift Z to scale it up. Then A to select everything, E, Z to scale it, to bring it down. And make sure that it's just aligned with the text right there. Then one thing we need to make sure is the normals. Going up here, select face normals so that we could see them. And with everything selected, A, hit Alt N, recalculate to outside. Now it's important that the normals are flipped the right way. Now selecting the text, we're going to go to object, convert to mesh, and then select the circle, shift select the text, control J to make it one object. Cool. Now we're going to shade it smooth, right click, shade that smooth, and then select that, control P, parent it to the main stamp object, and then move that back to the center position. Alright, we're going to animate this on frame 1, insert a location keyframe, go to frame 15, and bring it down on the z-axis. The main important thing is to make sure that the stamp goes through the envelope mesh, like that. Insert a location keyframe there, then copy the keyframe from frame 15 to frame 20 and the keyframe from frame 1 to frame 35. So you should have something that looks like this. Now with the stamp selected, which is the text, go ahead and go to the physics tab, go to dynamic paint and select brush and add a brush. Make the paint color black, like so, and then select the envelope. We're going to go to dynamic paint as well. And before we add a canvas, we need to get our image texture and unwrap this. So with everything selected in edit mode, select project from view in top view. And then the UV image editor, go ahead and select everything with A, R to rotate, and scale it up. Make sure that it does not touch the edges, however. Now we're going to go ahead and add a canvas. We're going to select, change it from vertex to image sequence and change the resolution to 1024. Change the end frame to 35. And under surface type, we're going to leave it to paint. Under initial color, we want it to be a texture, so change it to UV texture. And under the texture options, we're going to click add new. And then go to textures.com, we're going to search for paper and get this paper image right here. Go ahead and download that, back in Blender, click open under the texture panel and open up that image texture. And then back in the physics tab, under texture, select that texture and under UV map, select UV map. Now all we have to do is click on the cache folder under the output, create a new folder for the cache to go to, select that folder, and then click bake data. Yay, baking! Who doesn't like baking? Baking stamps is not really what I had in mind, but nevertheless. Next thing we're going to have to do is with the envelope selected, we're going to go to the Materials tab, add a new material, change the second window to the Node Editor, and then hit Shift A, Texture, add in an Image Texture, and connect it to the Principled Shader. Then go to Open, go to your Cache folder, and load in that first image only, only the first image. 
Next, change it to material view, add in an input texture coordinate and connect it to UV. And then we need to change this from single image to image sequence, change the frames to 35 and select auto refresh. And now look at this, we have a stamp. However, well, first of all, you can see that it conforms. Let's look at the positive. It conforms, it looks nice. However, we have an issue and that issue is that uh, at the bottom of this envelope, you can see it stamps at the bottom. To fix this, we're going to go to the material tab, add a new material, make it an image texture, and load in that texture, not the one we baked, but just the standard image texture. Go into edit mode, select this plane, and click assign on that second material. And look at that, we fixed our issue. Sweet. Now the last thing that I want to show you is right here, we're going to go to frame 40 to make it loop quite nicely and now I want to show you how I made the envelope squish down so go to the shape keys add in two shape keys on the second one make it a value of one and all we have to do is select this bottom face control plus to select a couple more faces then hit control I to invert it basically we want all these top faces selected in edit mode hit G Z and bring it up and now if you animate or move the shape key it squashes or compresses or expands the envelope so now all we have to do is animate this value going to the correct frames on the shape key value of one or zero, go ahead and insert some keyframes with the I key and your mouse hovered over that value. And it will basically animate the envelope compressing when the stamp gets pushed on it and expanding when it goes off it. And that is pretty much how you make a stamp animation in Blender. Again, it's not about the stamp animation, but the techniques and skills that we learned. So now we could stamp anything we want in the world of Blender. How cool is that? Oh, I forgot to say my catch word, but there you go. There's my catchphrase for this video. With that, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to like this video. Hit subscribe as I post almost daily uploads. And also, most importantly, check out the community over at BlenderMania3D.com for some awesome contests. We got forums over there and an awesome community. So again, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Au revoir.